Hey, Jonathan, uh, a couple of the veterans on the team have talked about how the extended off season was kind of a benefit a blessing in disguise for them to kind of, you know, get their bodies back to where they needed to be. Um, and then build for this season. Did you kind of feel a similar benefit? I mean, I, I think with anything, there's uh, positives and negatives. Um, yeah, I think uh, some of the older guys who play this long in the league, you're going to have some things bugging you here and there. So you had plenty of time to heal up and uh, get, get those all figured out. Um, you know, but then at the same time, it's also 10 months since we played a hockey game. So you're trying to, while you're grateful that you, you're healthy and you feel good, uh, you're also trying to ramp it back up and, you know, get in uh, game shape. Does the possibility of playing, say, consecutive games against the same team impact your preparation as a goalie at all, as opposed to playing, you know, different teams every night? No, I don't think it really changes much. Uh, you know, we, for the most part, we play teams in the West and we play teams in our division the most. So, you know, we, you scout them once or twice, you feel like you know them pretty well by the third game for sure. Uh, so whether you're playing playing them once a month or three times in a weekend, like you, you know, they're, you're still, uh, you have a decent idea what they're trying to do and the same on their end, they know what you're trying to do. Thanks, Jonathan. Next up is John Hoven. Hey, John, welcome back. Uh, just a question for you about how you're approaching this season. You know, so much has been made in the media about uh, how, how the splits will take place and Todd has kind of been non-committal as well. Do you see yourself as playing three quarters of the season? Is it 50-50 split with Cal or how do you anticipate things to go down? Uh, that's a question for Todd, obviously. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't pick and choose uh, who plays. Uh, so yeah, that's a question for Todd. And just a follow up to that would be, you know, you've played with so many different guys behind you here in, in Los Angeles through the years. Uh, any any thoughts or impressions about your, your time so far with Cal and and uh, what it would be like to go through a whole season with the two of you as the tandem? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, he's a great teammate. He's a great goalie. Um, he uh, yeah, he competes his ass off. He's fun to play with. So uh, I'm looking forward to it for sure. Thanks, John. Next up is Daryl Evans. Hey, Jonathan, welcome back, young man. Uh, as you come into this season, what do you foresee as the biggest challenges uh, getting back into game shape, especially not having any preseason games to play? I, I would think around the league, that's uh, the biggest challenge for everybody. Um, even in a normal year, uh, you play preseason games, and even that first game, it, it feels fast. So I think uh, I think everyone, all 31 teams, uh, you know they're gonna have they're gonna feel that a little bit. So I, I mean, obviously, I think uh, the way we broke down camp so far, getting into scrimmages right away, and trying to get you making those game decisions, uh, you know, and realizing how how you don't have as much time as you used to in the summer skate. So uh, you know, I think hammering that home right away, I think it really it's uh, kind of sending a message to everyone in the locker room that you you know you have to get ready. When you go back to last year, you know, a new coach coming in, systems were changed team didn't get off to the start that they wanted what's going to be important to get off to a better start and kind of pick up pick up where you guys left off and where did you see the biggest changes from the start of last year to the uh last games that you played in march i mean i, I think in all areas uh we, we were playing better i it just i think as a unit uh everybody knew each other's jobs everyone was helping each other out um you know whether it's goalies helping out the d-men vice versa if, you know uh, just as a unit, I thought we were playing much better brand of hockey, uh, just kind of getting used to the new system and uh, getting used to new line mates and new faces. It's, uh, um, you know, obviously we didn't want it to take as long as it did, but, uh, it, you know, it is what it is. So I think we come into this year uh, a little more cohesive going into the season for sure. All right. Good luck, young man. Thank you. Uh, next up is Steven Dorfman. Hi, Jonathan. Just wondering if uh, with the extra time down season, if you were able to add anything or try different things to your off season routine for staying in shape or mentally prepared for the season? Uh, well, you know, as, as you know, it was a extended off season uh, with limited availability for where you could go. So, um, you know, you try some 
different methods because uh, you know the rink was shut down for quite some time. So you're ordering gym equipment and trying things in the garage. Um, you know, and then obviously when the rink was able to open up, you know, we had a good number of guys coming in here. But I mean, for the most part, we we know what works. We know what it takes to get in shape to to come into training camp. Um, you know, I can't remember trying something new and being like, well, I feel much better. No matter what, the first few days, you're going to be tired during training camp. So, uh, like, you you know you know what to expect. And, uh, you know, you kind of just stick with what, what you believe works. Thank you. Okay, uh, back to Zach Dooley. Hey, Jonathan, just had one more for you. Uh, it seemed like as the season kind of came to a close, you were playing some of your best hockey. Did you feel like things were really coming together for you, you know, in the second half of last year? I think as a team, we were playing some, some great hockey there that, uh, you know, February, March, I thought we were playing really great brand of hockey. We we're beating playoff teams and we were, we were competitive every night. So I think that's uh, something that even though it was unfortunately 10 months ago, I think that's something we could build off. We know what that feels like and we know what we have to do when we step out for a game. So we're, we're going to build off that for sure. Thank you. And uh, again, to John Hoven. John, just wanted to follow up on some of the comments from Todd and, and even some of your teammates. Uh, they're talking playoffs. Uh, when you look at the shortened season, the reconfigured division, do you think the playoffs are a realistic opportunity for the Kings this season? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the fact that you're asking that, it's kind of weird. Uh, I mean, it's, I know um, the lockout year in 13, it was, I think there's a week week and a half left in the season and pretty much every team still had a chance of making it when it's shortened down like that every game means so much so that means that teams aren't going to be far out of it uh teams aren't going to be running away with it it's uh you know those every game is going to mean that much more so um you know even if teams do get off to a good start like if you stumble for a week you're going to be right into the mix and you know the other way around if you don't have a great start if you get hot you'll be right in the mix so um, you know, I think it's, you just got to approach it one game at a time. And, um, you know, we're the teams we're playing are the teams that we have to fight with to get a playoff spot. So those, every game's huge, right? So they're all four point games. Playing against such a small subset of the league, you know, uh, just a handful of teams so many times throughout the year, does, does that change your approach at all as a goaltender? Does it make things easier because now you kind of get a, a book, if you will, on, on all the different guys? No, the, but we already have the book, you know, the book's already there. Uh, you know, no one does any groundbreaking changes year in and year out, right? Like it's, you, teams carry over, they might make minor adjustments here and there from year to year. But uh, yeah, you know how teams play, you know the personnel they have and um, whether you play them 20 times, you play them three times, like you, you know, our, our scouting department, our coaches, they get us ready. We, we know what they're trying to do. We know what we have to do every day. Thanks, John, appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, and last up here is uh, Carlin Bave. Hey, Jonathan, it's nice to see you, even though you can't see us here. And I was just curious, how much on a on a really deeper level here did you miss being away from the game and adding to that, not knowing maybe when the season was going to start up again? Were you able to reflect on anything in particular and just how much this game means to you? Um, I mean, well, I, I don't think it was anything with the time off that I realized that I missed the game. Like I knew I was going to miss the game when I knew there was going to be extended period. Like I, like I love playing the game. So do the guys in this locker room, the rest of the team. It's, uh, it's, it's fun being around the guys, fun being in the locker room. It's fun competing and playing games. Um, so I mean, even though it was an extended period of time, it's not like I had, uh, realized that I missed it. I knew I was going to miss it going into it, but uh, I mean, also at the same with the, uh, on the, the other side of the coin was that with that time off, I, you know, we all got to spend a lot of time with our family and that's something where when you're playing, you don't really get those opportunities a lot. Um, you know, so that was uh, while you miss coming to the rink and being around the guys and playing games, uh, you know, you we're lucky enough to have the, those moments with your family that you, sometimes miss out on when you're traveling and playing games every other night. And then last question here to follow up on that family time, Dustin Brown talked about having to 
become a teacher of sorts, but maybe not the best one. Did you ever have to pick up any of the schooling at home and, and help out yeah. with the kids in that way? Yeah, there's a lot of Google searches for for fifth grade math answers and things like that. Uh, it's crazy how, how you completely forget that part of your life and how to do some of those equations. Um, but uh, yeah, no, yeah, you try to help out wherever you can. Um, you know, you slowly realize that your your kids might be a little smarter than you are at this point. But uh, yeah, you get we we got through it.